Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today I'll show you how to build an add-on for Google Docs. Now before we get started, I will show you a quick demo of an add-on that I've created. It's called Twitter Curator and it helps you find and curate tweets right inside your Google Documents. So I go to the new add-ons menu in Google Docs and choose Twitter Curator. Now this will open a little sidebar that has a search box and a search button. So it's basically a Twitter search box. So anything I search here, it will find tweets around the topic and it will show me a list of search results. I can click any of the results to insert that uh, tweet into my Google document. Okay, so let's uh, try searching for tweets from Barack Obama. So you can scroll through the search results and if you find a tweet that you want to insert in your Google document, simply click it. Now you can execute any number of searches in this Twitter search box. So maybe for our next example, let's search for tweets that are addressed to Barack Obama. So I'll write to Barack Obama. The search results show the first 100 set of tweets, but you can always click the load more button to load the next set of 100 tweets. And once you have collected all the tweets, you can go to the document and uh, file menu and publish this document as a PDF file, as a web page so that anybody else can see your curation. Now that's very easy. Now, now let's talk about building a new add-on from scratch. Okay, so let's assume that I'm writing an essay on the New York City and I need to insert a map of the New York City inside my Google document. So what I'll do is I'll go to the add-ons menu again and choose the Google Maps add-on. Now here is a search box. I search for New York and it shows me a little thumbnail image of the New York City. Uh, what I can do is I can click this thumbnail and it will insert a bigger version of the New York City map inside my Google document. So there's no need for any screen capture. I can directly insert a map inside the Google document using this add-on. Now in this tutorial, I'll show you how to build this uh, Google Maps add-on in five minutes. So I'll go to my Google Drive and create a new Google document. Uh, let's call this document Google Maps. Next, we'll go to Tools Script Editor to open the script editor where we'll actually write the code for the Google Docs add-on. Now, give this uh, script some name, maybe Google Maps add-on, and this will become the name of our Google Docs add-on as well. Okay, now the interesting part, let's get to coding now. So I'll go to file and create a new HTML file and let's call this file Google Maps.html. Now, this is the HTML file that will show up in the sidebar. This is just like a regular web page that has HTML code, CSS and JavaScript. Now, if you remember our uh, sidebar, it had a search box and a search button. So we'll write simple HTML tags to create that search box. So our HTML file will have an uh, input box where users will enter their uh, maps address. Then there's a search button. Uh, when clicked, it will load the map in the sidebar and then we will also have a empty div where the maps image will show up when somebody clicks the search box. We will also include a CSS style sheet in our HTML file so that the layout of our buttons and forms and everything matches with the default UI of Google Maps. Now there is a standard add-on CSS file available. You can find a link to this in the show notes. Next we will include the jQuery library in our HTML file. Now, if you don't know jQuery, don't worry too much about it. You can find an annotated version of the source code in the show notes. What we are doing is attaching click handlers to our buttons. So if somebody clicks the search button, the corresponding Google Maps image should load inside the dev uh, with the ID maps. That's all it, this uh, jQuery and JavaScript code is doing.
Now this is important. We need to attach another click handler to our uh, div ID maps because when somebody clicks the map thumbnail in the sidebar, the corresponding bigger version of that map should load in the Google document. So for this, we need to call a Google script. And for that, the syntax is google.script.run and then we need to add the name of the function that will insert that Google maps in our Google document. So we are done writing the code for our sidebar. Now we need to insert the server side code. So for that, go to the code.js file. The name of this file can be anything. Make sure that the extension is GS, which stands for Google scripts. So the first function that we'll write is on open. Now what happens is when somebody opens the Google document, this is the first function that gets triggered. Now for this example, we'll simply add a new menu to the add-ons menu in your Google documents using the on open function. So the menu item that we are adding is called Google Maps and when somebody clicks it, it will execute a function called show sidebar. Next we'll write the show sidebar function that will actually render the HTML code of Google Maps.html in the sidebar of a Google document. We can use the excellent HTML service of Google Apps Script to render that HTML code. Uh, we can also set a title of uh, the sidebar that will appear when the sidebar is open. We'll call it Google Maps. Now we will write the main insert Google Maps function that will be called when someone clicks a map in the sidebar of a Google document. So what this function will do is it will create a new static image using the map service of Google script and will insert that map as an image inside the Google document. It basically gets the position where the current cursor is and it inserts a high resolution Google Maps image around that same position. So our Google Docs add-on is almost ready and we need to test it now. So as a first step, we'll go to the run menu and choose on open. Now when you execute this on open function, it will basically add a new option to the add-ons menu in your Google documents. The first time you run this script, it will require authorization because it has to access your Google documents, it has to access Google Maps on your behalf. So just say a yes at the authorization prompt and you're good to go. So let's now switch to our Google document and under the add-ons menu, you see a new option called Google Maps add-on. This is the add-on that you have just created. So select Google Maps to launch the add-on. So this add-on is exactly like the one you have seen in the demo previously. Okay, now let's search for an address, maybe 10 Hanover Square, New York. And um, you'll see a thumbnail image. If you click that thumbnail image, a bigger version of that map will be inserted into your Google Documents. So it took less than five minutes to write an add-on. All you need is some basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript.